ever dreamed of building wearable tech wherever the inspiration strikes? Well, now the magic can happen without even needing a lab. Hi, I'm Christine, and my channel is all about creating fun and creative wearable projects, things that you can make. I've also written a book about wearable technology, which is available at all good bookstores. Building wearable tech wherever the inspiration strikes is easier than it sounds, and that is what today's video is all about. We're going to look at bringing different components, how do we carry them and package them safely to be a maker on the move. So make your office wherever you want it. it might be a coffee shop, it could be a park, kind of where I grew up in my childhood. I've even made projects on the beach. So you can too. First, let's have a look at the component carriers. So these little boxes here, they come in different sizes. This is the smallest one that I use, and this can be for just super small projects. Even though it has a very small size, it does still, and it can still hold quite a large amount of components. So as we can see here, we've got different components from things like our circuit boards to our threads. It's a really great way to package items individually. So for example, we might bring along one of our cute ESP32 pink circuit boards. These are great for portable projects. They're so small and compact. So that will fit very easily into this component carrier. We can also pack things like um, these fun circuit, uh, circuit chips. So I've recently just built um, some little necklace projects with this. This is my quickest and simplest wearable project to date. So you can check out the video online as well as a follow on. So you can use this making on the move really fun and easy. Other things you might want to include are, um, so this one has a little battery. It also has a couple of little on off switches. Again, because um, I've traveled a few times and made on the move, I realized I did actually forget to include these little guys into my um, board, it meant that I couldn't complete my project. So you'll always probably find one or two components that you've forgotten. So the point with these little cases really is to find um, a variety. So what you really want to do is think in the overall sense, what are some things you might need for a project? And that way, when inspiration strikes, you just need to open your little case and it should have everything in there for you. Secondly, we have a larger case. So this one here is pretty good as well. It holds more. It'll hold at least double from the ones we've been looking at. And this here is a huge um, array of components. Great selection. So with this one, we can have things like more circuit boards in it. I've also got different sensors in this one. So I might include, so this one actually has heart rate sensors. So just a whole variety of sensors that I might use for a project. Usually some kind of distance, maybe sound, so some kind of output. Um, this one as well also has room for a screen. So you might want to include a screen in your project that will fit in these boxes easily. My needle threader. So this needle threader I use in a lot of projects because without it, it is really hard to thread your conductive fabric. So I always have, I usually bring about two of these with me, to be honest, in different containers just to make sure that I've got one on me. And then we can also include little snippets of conductive fabric so we can make conductive fabric buttons and so on. We've even got some huge chunky buttons just in case project inspiration strikes. So for those, we can just leave them in our container and they are super easy to transport. Another component you might want to bring is not a component at all, but it is these little clips. Now these are great for just putting together your conductive materials or holding things in place. These are great. I like them a lot. So this one, for example, will also have a lot of different wires in it. So I often maybe want to do some soldering on the go. So this box is perfect for that. I've got some resistors, some silicone wire, all of those types of components, like I said, for a more kind of robust project. So it really is taking the things you use from your lab and just sort of 
making smaller versions of it. So I would use these components, I would use these wires, and now I'm able to just carry them in a small package. I'll also typically bring just a little battery with me, so that way I can just test the component. This guy is working because I can see with my little battery pack. So that's a good, just a little tester, just to make sure stuff is working. If those cases are still not quite enough for what you're looking to build, I definitely also use these little portable. These are fantastic. They're very small. This is compact. This is a very small little toolbox. This one's fantastic because it also has this top part as well, which you can just lift off and that holds loads of components in it. Um, so depending on your project, you might want to include, I've even got some of the larger. So this is a nice floorboard. This is quite a nice circuit um, board to work with. Again, I've chucked in a bunch more chunky buttons. So basically, depending on where you're going or the type of making that you want to do, that will determine the type of box that you pack. So with this one, I've also got this top area. And in that, I have got some tools. So this is where you might want to have like things to cut and clip or fold and bend things. So all of these as well can make a difference to your circuit. So depending on your project, you might want to include metal snaps if it's more of a wearable or other types of devices. Because this one is larger, I also tend to bring a battery pack with me. This can be a really good little lifesaver if you need it on the move. I also tend to bring much larger conductive fabric pieces, maybe a bit of felt, maybe a bit of fabric. And then also bring your own portable solder iron, pack that in there. Or if you've seen my other videos, which you might want to watch after this one, there is a video on an amazing portable solder iron that I did find and it came in this little box here. I do have an entire video dedicated to this little guy because it is that good. You might want to go and hop onto that video in just a minute. If you've enjoyed seeing the types of different things that you can bring on the go, I would suggest to go and see some of the projects we can make when we're on the move.